This is a video on how to hook up a subwoofer. Uh, subwoofers usually have two different types. Um, the one type of way to hook it up is basically to put this subwoofer in line with your speakers. So you have to come out of your receiver into the subwoofer and then out of the subwoofer to your speaker. That's an inline way to hook it up of a powered subwoofer. You also have, if you see here, a level of your powered subwoofer and your power on off button. A better way if you can, your receiver has to have what's called a subwoofer output. And you see here, it's a subwoofer pre-out. And then sometimes you'll have another one here that says subwoofer out. It's an RCA plug. The RCA plug is usually a single plug. The single plug, you'll have to have a Y connector here. The Y connector can be had for three or four bucks at eBay. It has a male single and it divides it into your right and left channels. The reason you have that is because you see here the input has two inputs, right and left channel. But receivers, even the most expensive ones, only have a single. So this combines it, your, you have one, it splits it out into two, and then it'll go into your subwoofer. Then you don't have the extra wires and it makes it a little cleaner so you don't have to do this mess here with all the wires going in and out. It makes it easier and cleaner for an output. Usually with subwoofers, you leave them in the own position. Um, this one's not plugged in right now. We're in the process of um, changing out a receiver here. But this is um, really a good way. I'll put some links below on some places you can buy good subwoofers at great prices. To hook up surround sound, we'll do another video. Um, I'll put a link below also on how to do that. Um, but this particular receiver does not have the HDMI inputs for a home uh, theater. Uh, that's good and bad. Um, some people like having to go through the receiver to have all your audio video equipment. Uh, some people don't. If you want to listen to your TV through your stereo with one that does not have the HDMI input, your, your TV will need an output. Either an RCA output or an optical output. Personally, for audio, I like the optical output because it's digital. However, your receiver will have to have what's called a digital input. If you look over here in the digital space, you have a coax for digital, but you also have the optical. If you pull out this little plug here, you'll see in there, and if it was turned on, a red light would be in there. It looks like a laser. It's very clean signal. The signal will go right out from your TV. You have to have digital output on your TV and digital input on your receiver. It'll be the best signal. And then you can listen to your digital um, music through your TV, through your stereo system, or your surround. You don't have to hook up surround, of course. You can just have two front speakers, but it'll make your system sound so much better to have that. So that's how you hook up a subwoofer. Got a little off tangent there with some of the other connections.